Hello friends, welcome to Alpha Point. I'm Vishal and today I'm gonna review Samsung Galaxy Note 2 with a Beanstalk ROM Android 4.3.1 based on Sanation Mod and Pure Android and uh, there is no touch base, very lightweight and no bloatwares out there, just uh, uh, some applications, some needed application has been there and I had to install the Google Apps side face by using zip file so let's look at what it has and what you will get after installing this version so first let me show you the version number here go in about device as you can see here model number n7100 android version 4.3.1 based on mg9 and beanstalk version 4.3.1 you can see here this is the beanstalk android 4.3.1 version here you can install in your device and see what are the features here but uh, before installing let's see what it has so first start uh, after installing what i got is there is three launchers you need to select one of them I find all of them are good here. Just selected the true Tetnet as always as default. I find it smooth here. Nova Launcher is also smooth, but it's try to force it down. So let's look at how the settings look like. It is same as this Android here from Ice Cream version. It is same here. Data usage has been added here. Mode networks, as you can see, the launcher. You can select your launcher here. Don't need to clear the default app. The lock screen, change what you want in your lock screen here. You can add widgets out there. You can add camera widget. You can add anything that you want. Dark stock, it just changes the notification panel. You can't find its uses much here. So let's turn it off here. Themes there is just one theme, default theme. You need to install from the Play Store and system. We have different kinds of tweaking uh, settings here. You can tweak everything here. General user interface, status bar, main stock pile, stock hello, navigation bar, uh, quick settings panel, notification drawer. You can change anything you want, the way you want. You can change the background color, you can change the notifications, icons, you can change everything like I'm gonna see the add power widget in the notification panel, there is power widget app light and there is no power widget right now. As you can see here, now see what's in the navigation bar here, enable bar. Just enable bar and your navigation bar like your Nexus has will be enabled here. Just close it down. You can change settings in the status bar like the background here. You can change the background. If you want red background then you can change it to red or any color that you want. I'm gonna go it to default black and you can change the battery icons, battery styles, signal styles, network speed, there are several kinds of settings that you can change here. There are lots of mods you can do in this ROM. Not like the touchface version from Samsung or the um, Tigra ROM or Sotmax ROM. You can't able to change those settings there. You need to do that from the exposed framework, but you can do just right in your settings here. Be careful in your settings. If you are using those settings, you may uh, change your settings be careful there just be careful and there are default application there's app pri privacy that's very good feature here that's it will select uh, it will show all the applications what features they are using like some of the application is using the per personal details or personal like uh, location based which application is using location settings here 
like if you want to change your calendar not to read your calendar or not to read your contacts you can disable it here you can also like if you if you want your browser not to use your location or not to read your contacts you can disable it here very good options like if you it can also be used as if you want your application not to use internet or um, any application not to use any service you can disable it here one of the good feature that has been added here super user is given in the settings menu here performance in performance you can change the processor frequency but you can just govern it you can't change the actual frequency here you can't overclock it in this kernel version you can just select the power save user space is I guess kernel here performance mode it will just uh, use much more battery life in performance mode and the best option I would say on user demand it will just uh, use your processor depends on the user or depending on the way you interact with your device playing games it will use most of out of it if it is in sleep mode then it will just slow sit down processor and giving you a higher battery life so just back here you can use different settings here be careful and these are in the settings menu here and everything are in common see the language and input uh, there is default Hindi input Android keyboard ASP based uh, Google Pinion keyboard, I'm in me keyboard. In the keyboard, I had found a glitch here. As you can see, the swipe function is not working here. Like if when I want to type hello, it is not typing here. Not typing anything in swipe function. Just you need to press it down to write anything. Just try to. It is working after updating my dictionary here. As you can see, it is not working. Hello, Vo. No, not working. It's just, just what I said here. So this is the keyboard you need to download another keyboard from the market. Now look at the lock screen menu. So if you see the lock screen menu, it is just as Android. It just unlocks it here. It just selects the home menu. It just goes to home here. If you are using like using this app and you just unlock it it will go there or if you go there it will go to home here so and the other features in the in your lock screen are just swipe from left and you can see your widgets here you can add widgets here like in Samsung Galaxy Note 3 or any other 4.31 device and in if you swipe from your right you can see the camera application running now see if uh, your s pen is working or not as since this is not a touch with version there will be no air view of the s pen here it will just work since this is welcome digitizer it will work here and no change at all you can't use this button no use of this pen just to you can draw it using your in your sketchbook if you want if you want to draw using this pen you can use it by in sketchbook applications download from the market and let's see the camera app The camera is a default application from Android. There is no change in the user interface. Now look at the app drawer. What we have in our app drawer. So go to app drawer and see what are the apps we have. Android tweaker here. Open the first app. You can tweak your applications here. A force rendered user interface with GPU, CPU, GPU timing, battery life. You can increase here by uh, disabling your uh, antennas or chips insert inside your device so this is android tweaker pro version app given here 
Apollo Music Player, Beanstalk, File Browser, uh, Browser Calculator. There is clock, two clocks out there. One was installed after installing the Google Apps, and one was default before installing the Google Apps or after installing this ROM. Google Currents Gallery. The Google Gallery here. Uh, there is Go Manager out there, and Hello, your uh, launcher settings out there. Maps that that these were installed after installing the Google Apps here and terminal exposed application as in here so you can see the notification panel here just click it down and you can change the settings from Jellybean 4.1 and there is less functions out there you can't in Samsung Galaxy Note if you want to use your Samsung Galaxy Note you need to have your S Pen functions S Note you can use uh, G Note as an alternative app, and there are several features. It is totally smooth, no lag at all. And the last thing that the most user concerned about is the battery life. Thumbs up to this battery life of this ROM. This ROM has a great battery life, I would say, and uh, not like the uh, Sortmax ROM. It was uh, using very much a Tiger ROM. Uh, it has a great battery life you can very lightweight just change the performance in uh, battery saver or user demand it will save your battery here and also to save your battery life switched off uh, antennas bluetooth wi-fi uh, when not in use it will increase the battery life and when you click the sound there is a sound call from xperia device ting ting like the sound coming like the Xperia device and these are the settings here and that's all from this video guys I uh, hope you liked it and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe this thank you